We are now being joined by journalists from Crown FM, uh, Jose Chimaobi. Good morning, Mr. Chimaobi. Good morning to you. Thanks and good morning, Plus TV. Thanks for joining us this morning. What are the people saying about government's efforts to contain the virus will be our first question. First, I think there is um, this feeling that the government is not being honest with the people enough. You know, when it comes to uh, the whole issue of coronavirus and the efforts to contain it, uh, like the commissioner said, is being hampered with um, or by this whole hunger thing. You know, most of the people believe that the government is not doing enough to uh, cushion the effect of the lockdown. So, yes, they don't think that uh, the government is really doing enough in that regard. So they think they're all just going to come out and do what they have to do to keep themselves going. Now, how would you rate the level of compliance uh, to the lockdown order also? Now, this is uh, day 21 of the lockdown here in Delta State. Uh, to that day, um, I do want to say that the first 14 days, level of compliance was at 80%, right? Around worry, uh, Uwe local government area, Udu local government area, and parts of Ugeli. But the second phase of the lockdown, since the governor announced it last week, I have to uh, admit, it's been very, very poor. Um, level of uh, vehicle activities within the metropolis has been very, very high. Okay. Uh, yesterday, I was with chairman of Uwe local government council, and the man really uh, had a very, very difficult time getting the people to even listen to him in the very first place. It was the same situation in uh, Warisat local government area. In fact, Ugeli uh, South, it's pretty much business as usual over there. Level of compliance has dropped since the second phase of um, the lockdown was announced by the governor. So does this suggest that the people are not taking this seriously, even as the NCDC has commended uh, Delta State for being able to contain uh, the virus? Help us understand this disconnect. The people do understand the impact of the virus. I was in one of the communities where uh, the government palliative was shared yesterday, and the people, you could tell, uh, weren't happy with the way that the situation was handled. And first, there was this whole area called Frankalemia that had close to about um, 2,000 residents. They were given just one basket of beans, you know, and that alone angered the people. They had to come to our studio. We visited the area. And what they were saying was that if the government wants them to stay in indoors, the government needs to do a lot more, you know, to cushion the effect of the lockdown. So, yes, they know that the virus is real. Yes, they know that um, it's capable of killing them. They know it's not a death sentence, but they still don't want to stay in their houses and die of hunger because they believe enough is, a lot is not being done to take care of their basic needs. And lastly, before we let you go, what do you think would be the best option at this time for the people to get what they should get, even as we hear the Honorable Commissioner saying, well, the state is doing enough, but it seems like the people are not getting the enough that the state is saying they are giving. You know, before I answer that question, I'd like to uh, draw your attention to the fact that um, one of other major reason why the level of compliance has been very, very low is the fact that there have been lots of pass, the lot of pass from various offices. I have seen, as a journalist, I've seen pass from the Office of the National Security Advisor. I've seen pass from the of, uh, Office of the Inspector General of Police. The Assistant Inspector General of Police in charge of the zone. I've seen from the Commissioner of Police, Delta State. I've seen from the area commander. I've seen pass from the Office of um, the Secretary to the uh, State Government. There are lots of them. In fact, yesterday on the road, you could barely hold any of them because they all have this person. You ask yourself, where are they coming from? So, yes, until the government deals with this is issue of um, issuing pass indiscriminately to uh, individuals, I don't think we'll be able to get it right in maybe getting the people to comply. Because if I am, for example, no, I'm not a car owner, but I see car owners driving about, what stops me from moving? So, in my own opinion, the government needs to first and foremost cut down or try to withdraw some of the passes they have already, okay, they've issued to individuals, 
And then another thing too, they need to re strategize this means of um, looking out for the vulnerables in the community. I, I just told you about Frank Alimben Street. I went there to lots of elderly people, old people that cannot even fend for themselves. These are the people, so called vulnerable people, but they got absolutely nothing. The government needs to find a way, better way of distributing these palliatives. Then I think the people can start connecting. All right, thank you so very much, uh, Chimaobi, for bringing in that perspective. And please do stay safe. Thank you, Sam.